Next.js 13, the upgrade that broke everyone's code. Just check out some of the comments on the Fireship video about the Next 13 upgrades. After seeing, I was excited to migrate my project, but little did I know the differences in components, file structure, etc. in 12.3 and 13. It was like a mini hell. Almost all components started to break. So yeah, Next.js 13 broke everyone's code. But why? Why all the breaking changes? I'll go through the specifics and I'll show you the super secret Next 13 documentation that Next does not want you to know about. All that in a second. But first, watch the team from Next explain why they've made all the changes. Today is a new beginning for compiler infrastructure. In Next.js, and for the entire web ecosystem. Next.js provides the right defaults for your app with zero configuration. Our job is to curate the best tools for you so your team can iterate faster and ship better products. In 2016, the natural thing to do was to write JavaScript tooling in JavaScript. That meant tools like Babel, Terser, and Webpack. As front-end applications grew in size and complexity, this tooling struggled to keep up. We hit the limits of what was possible with the performance of JavaScript-based compilation. So as you can see, the next team just reached the limits of what they could do with JavaScript. That is the reason for the complete overhaul of Next. Next 13 onward is a new era in Next. From now on, your apps will be much faster. Now, onto the specific changes that they made. The major changes centers around a new file directory system called App and a Webpack replacement called TurboPack. And I'll go ahead and show you what all this looks like in the code. After you create a Next 13 app, it'll start out looking something like this. If you've used Next before, you'll notice the Pages directory is still there. That's because if you want to still use Pages, you can. Then you can slowly migrate to App. But if this is your first time using Next or you're creating a new project, you can actually completely delete the pages directory. You don't need it anymore. And I would highly suggest you do that if you're building a new project or using Next for the first time because everything is transitioning to app. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete mine. I'm gonna say move to trash. And then I'll go ahead and show you what's going on in the app directory, how it works. So with Next 13 onward, they're going to be looking for this app directory. And the home page of your website is going to be this page.js directory here. If you say npm start and go to localhost 3000, this is what it looks like. You'll notice in here, there's something called layout. If you open that up, you can see how it works. So the layout file is a way to share UI across all pages within a directory. For the root of the app file, this layout is required. If you don't have this, it won't work. Your app will break. But if you see how it works, uh, it's going to share this same head across all the screens within the app directory. So even the subdirectories, it's going to share this. And then this children just represents all the pages within this directory, within this app directory. So currently that includes page and also i'm going to show you uh what this dashboard directory is and how it's working but uh, also all of these pages within here it's sharing the same head you can also optionally create layouts within directories too i'll show you how to do that in just a second so this again is the home page the way now with apps that you create new pages on a website is you create a directory so for example i want to create a dashboard page i want it to be to where if you say slash dashboard it goes to a new page. The way you do that is whatever you name a directory within the app folder, that's the name of the page. And if you look inside of there, whatever you name page.js or page.jsx or TypeScript, it works with TypeScript too. Whatever the page is, that's what's going to open up. So I just simply have something that's called this is the dashboard page. And within there, I want to create another layout. So what I did is I went to the root layout. I completely copied this whole thing. And I used that sort of as a template for my sub layouts. I pasted that here. And then what you'll notice is in the header, I say, this is the dashboard header. 
you'll notice that this is going to be shared across screens within the dashboard. So there's going to be a dashboard screen and also a settings screen that I'll talk to you about in a second. But let's go ahead and go to the dashboard screen. So I'll go slash dashboard. And as you can see, it says this is the dashboard page and this is the dashboard header. Now say you wanted to create a nested route, say dashboard slash settings. So you want a settings page within the dashboard directory. Well, that's simple too. You can just create another directory within the dashboard, which is what I've done here. I've called it settings. And within there, you'll notice I did not put a layout. I just put a page. In that page, it just says this is the settings page, but you'll notice that it's going to share the same layout header because here I put a header that I say I want this to be shared across all the pages within a dashboard. Uh, and then the children, it's just going to be rendering the, the HTML within the body. So this is the only thing that's going to be updated within each directory. So let's go ahead and go to the dashboard slash settings page. And as you can see, it changed uh, what is within the body. This is the settings page, but it kept the same header. So that's a simple overview of how the new app directory system works and how routing works. And to learn more about TurboPack, which is a huge update with Next 13, listen to the Next team explain why they transitioned to TurboPack. At our last conference, we began our transition to native Rust-powered tooling. We started by migrating away from Babel which resulted in 17 times faster transpilation. Then we replaced Terser, which resulted in six times faster minification. But what about bundling? Webpack has been downloaded over 3 billion times. It's become an integral part of building for the web. But just like Babel and Terser, it's time to go all in on native. Tobias, the creator of Webpack, joined Vercel and assembled a team of world-class engineers to build the web's next generation bundler. This team has taken the lessons from 10 years of Webpack combined with the innovations in incremental computation from Turbo Repo and Google's Bazel and invented an architecture ready to withstand the next 10 years. We're excited to introduce TurboPack, our Rust-based successor to Webpack. On large applications, TurboPack shows updates 10 times faster than Vite and 700 times faster than Webpack. For a really large application, the difference is even greater, 20 times faster updates than Vite. These speed boosts aren't just for code updates, but also for starting up your local dev server. Let's take a look at an example. As you'll see, TurboPack starts up in 1.8 seconds when handling a large application with 3,000 modules. This is faster than both previous versions of Next.js and other popular tools. So those are the really major changes with Next 13. The last thing I wanted to mention was the super secret Next 13 documentation that Next does not want you to know about. You can find a link to it in the description below. This is what it looks like. If you're learning Next.js for the first time, I would follow this super secret Next 13 beta documentation instead of the current Next 12 documentation. If you go to the Next.js website, the current documentation teaches you how to use Next 12, but there are so many changes with Next 13. I would use the Next 13 documentation. If you don't use the Next 13 documentation, in the future, if you ever try to upgrade your Next 12 app, it might break. So definitely check to make sure you're using at least the Next 13 or above documentation. By the time you watch this video, the Next 13 or above documentation may be live. Currently, it's still in beta. So that's why you have to go to the beta URL documentation. Let us know in the comments if Next 13 broke your code. How did it make you feel? What was it like? Also, do you like the Next 13 changes or hate them? Let us know in the comments. I'm planning on coming out with a Next 13 video soon where we'll build an app using Next 13 together. So you'll want to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of that. Like the video if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.